Uh, what do you do? Like, what are your three morning habits that you do for success? Three morning habits. So, um, I'm going to wake up and the first thing I do is give myself time. Okay. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Uh, so one is give yourself time. I have to wake up in the morning and because of my anxiety driven, uh, whether it's a result of my drug and alcohol abuse or a cause of my drug and alcohol abuse, I don't know. But when I wake up in the morning, I have to give myself time um, to wake up, right? I had to get my brain has to get working first before I dig into social media, Facebook, or start handling any type of business things. You ever wake up in the morning and someone has made a comment on social media and you immediately start cussing them out. And then 30 minutes later, you go back and delete it, right? That's because you didn't allow your brain to wake up and start make, and operating clearly. Okay. So giving yourself time to, uh, to function properly. That's whether, whether you're a 12 step guy like me, that's prayer, meditation, putting your head down for a minute, taking a deep breath and bringing yourself into the moment, shutting everything else off and being like, okay. And self-awareness is like, I'm still waking up. That's why I feel this way. That's why I almost feel angry when I wake up. Right. Particularly common in drug and alcohol community. I wake up pissed off. Right. So I have to wait. Also another thing, and this goes back, this is part of telegraphing. Okay. Not only do I have to give myself time to come out of that fog in the morning, I have to wake up earlier than I like to so I can be collective and ready to go for my day. And what I mean by that is if I have to be now, I, I have a different job now, but when I was working at the restaurant uh, as a chef, I had to be there at 9 a.m., right? If I wake up at 830 and throw my chef coat on and don't brush my teeth and, you know, wash my face and all that and run out the door, I am a hot mess because one, I didn't allow my brain to wake up. But two, I didn't give myself time to collect myself before I went out the door and, um, and go through my day, right? So I'm rushing. I'm on my way in. I'm still half asleep when I walk in the door. Anybody's a victim at that point. Anybody can get cussed out. Anybody can get cussed out in traffic, any number of things. So giving your, your brain time to wake up, but also giving yourself a gap for telegraphing. And that is, um, and I did this while I was working at the restaurant. Dude, my chef coat was ironed crispy with creases in the sleeve every day. I had my thermometer, my ink pen, uh, all of my equipment was there and ready to go. My pants looked good. I didn't look like I just pulled all of my stuff out of the trunk of my car and threw it on and walked in there with my breath stinking where I forgot to brush my teeth, right? These are all things, allowing your brain to wake up and allowing yourself to, uh, to put yourself together before you head out the door, right? And then here's one of the biggest things. Absolutely one of the biggest things, probably the biggest. Well, they all run together, put it that way, is being intentional with what you do, right? I can show you right now that I know you guys won't see it, the guys listening to the podcast, but you see these, yeah, y'all can hear it. These are pages of notes, Robert, I'm showing you. See how many lists I have? That, Gentle. look at those, right? I talk about them on my page a lot. Yeah. I am going to be intentional about what I do with my day, okay? That's called the dog wagging the tail instead of the tail wagging the dog. I'm going to wake up. I'm well telegraphed. I have my appointments scheduled for the day. I know the people I'm supposed to talk to. I know other stuff's going to come in and I'm going to log it properly. But most thing is I'm going to be very intentional before I start my day. I've woke up. I put myself together even before this uh, podcast right here, even though we're not in the same room and the people listening will be on a recording. Look, I washed my face. I brushed my teeth. I put some cologne on to make sure that I felt good while I was sitting here. I was very intentional about that, about how my mood was going to come across today. And then I have these lists. I make lists of everything that I do not want to do. Mind you, the stuff that you want to do, like go to the lake this weekend, don't worry. You're not going to forget, right? <laughs> you're not going to miss it, right? You or, have a point. Right, or, or take the new girlfriend to dinner. You're not going to forget. Don't worry about it. You don't need a list for, hey, I want to I take her out on Saturday, right? The things I'm going to forget are the little form that showed up in the mail yesterday I need to fill out for my taxes, and I'm probably going to have to wait on the phone on hold with the IRS for an hour just to get that thing done. See, I'll throw that in a pile of papers over here and forget about it, and then Three weeks later, when the deadline's coming, I'm scrambling, I'm non-telegraphed, I'm negative telegraphing, and I'm trying to scrape everything together to get it done. So being very intentional. Also, another thing of being intentional is if you wake up in the morning 
and check your social media notifications before you write down your intentions, you're not a leader. You're following. You're getting up and you're looking at notifications to see what the world has brought you and what can you all guide me into this morning, right? I want to be very intentional. I want to sit down and say, I'm going to use Facebook and my, now I'm a business guy. Some people use Facebook as a toy or a tool, okay? I use it as a tool. It's not just a toy I play on on the internet. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, okay? And, that, and, and a website and all that. So I'm waking up. And uh, though I might not hit all those platforms in one day, I'm very intentional. It's like, guess what? I'm going to use my, my social media platform today to teach people this one three-step process, right? The, maybe the um, collective leadership you and I just talked about. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to be intentional. So I'm going to go live today uh, from my office and talk about collective leadership. I'm going to take some questions. I'm going to go over to Instagram and add something to my story that says, hey, go check out my live on collective leadership. I'm gonna go on Twitter and give a little tidbit of it and the link to it after I'm done, right? And I might even broadcast that link while I'm on live on Facebook. Copy and go to my Twitter or go to my Instagram and say, hey guys, I'm live right now, click here, okay? I have a bot on my page. I have a text messaging app where I have uh, over 500 phone numbers of people that like to, uh, that like to engage with my broadcasting or whatever. So being intentional about your day, right? If you wake up and you have no aim as and no goal set, when you go to bed, whenever you close your day out, you're not going to feel accomplished, right? That one little form you were supposed to fill out for the IRS is still sitting in the stack of papers. You didn't handle maybe the paperwork that you need to do to get your kids into school, all that stuff. So it comes down, it's a list of things that I do not want to do. Every Monday morning, I start with a list. I actually, I started on Sunday night and I add to it. And Monday when I wake up, I've got 10, sometimes 30 things on there that I do not want to do. And I come in here first thing and start knocking off as many as I can. Uh, so for me, I go through what I call the five S's. The first is sing. So I wake up and I put on music that makes me want to sing. Okay. I wake up and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm tired, dude. I'm tired. I got, you know, lines on my face from the pillow and stuff in my eyes. And, and most people will then wake up like an accident or, or turn on their phone and start responding to other people's emergencies. Or if you're putting on music, you put on music of how you currently feel as opposed to music of how you want to feel. So we've all, we all have music that if this song came on, it would make you start bouncing and make you start singing along. You just couldn't help it because like, it's that song. There's no mm -hmm. one song for me. It's something for you. It's something else. Somebody else is something else, but put that song on or put that band on. If you started your day with moving, it's music is the fastest way to change your state. It's the fastest way to get from one spot of emotion to another. And so you might've had the greatest day of all time today, but then tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're starting over again. And so I start with singing. Next is sun. So I get outside. So I, I go with my wife, we walk, we get some, I don't know, so some, just something about being outside, getting some sun on me that just lightens my mood and makes me more positive, more optimistic and ready for the day. Um, three is then sore. And so you need to figure out the thing, the thing that makes you sore. What makes you come alive? What makes you feel bold, confident, powerful? This is the most important part of my morning routine, right? That if there's five S's, but that's that, that one, if I only to do one, that's the most important part. For me, I need to think about somebody that I helped yesterday and then channel a message to share. And I usually put on my Instagram in the morning. I need to think about someone I've helped and then share it. Because a lot of what I do, and, and you too, you're sitting there, you know, and I'm in my home office, you're in your home, you know, you're, you're creating content that then spreads around the world, but it's hard to feel the tangible impact of that. And so I need to remind myself that the work I do is important, that today becomes important, and that yesterday, instead of just thinking, oh, another 300,000 people have watched my videos, that's too, that's too generic, but like this person, this one person I helped, whether it's a comment or whether it's um, somebody that I actually helped on a, on, a, on a live session, but I helped one person, and then I share a message. So whatever you need to do to help make you soar every morning, I think it's important because if you started your day and did the thing that made you feel bold, confident, unstoppable, if you felt that way every morning, your life would be dramatically different. One mantra, 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 say it, mantra, mantra, mantra. I don't know how you say it, is- Tomato, um, tomato, whatever. 
yeah, I don't know, my motto, my quote for everything is um, today is tomorrow relative to yesterday. So, I don't know, for me it just means like, you know, everybody gives you the excuse of I'll start tomorrow, I'll do tomorrow, or whatever, and, and today is tomorrow. So, it, it just keeps me going and, and knowing that like, there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days, but as long as you have more good days than bad, you're, you're making progress.